Guys, you're seeing it through my eyes. I'm just gonna block my address. The work has come that we got the purchase order for on um, Friday. So we have to start sometime today. But Joe went to go pick up some films. I wanted to show this to Sam. Sam, see all these scriptures right here on this post? These are the scriptures that keep Joe going, okay? See? Because he sits at this machine for long lengths of time. He shoved the machine all the way back here. And um, sometimes he has to encourage himself. So this is what he does. This one, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. Isaiah 53, 5, okay? So this is the one that I want you to hold on to. All right? And this one, Isaiah 43, 2 and 3. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you and through the rivers, they will not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned nor shall the flame scorch you for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior, all right? All right, guys, so I'm going to show you something, Bottles 101. So this is the bottle that we're going to be doing. It's a 32 ounce or a liter because it holds a little bit more than the 32 ounce. Because of this neck right here, it's called a Beehive Carafe. I don't know who uh, names these bottles, okay? Because of this little indent or dip that you have from here to here, it's called a Label Protect. And I used to think it's because it showed you more or less where you want the label to be if you were putting a label on because we put inks. Um, but Joe says no, it's because when the bottles are like this, either sitting on a shelf or traveling to and from the locations after it's printed, you um, that little lip up here protects the labels from getting scratched. So that's what that is. Now underneath a bottle, you're gonna see something like this on most bottles. On some newer bottles, you won't see it. Those newer ones we can't print because our machines are too old. And the machines that print those bottles, are called, um, they have micro eyes on them. It's all digital and stuff. For us, there's a pin that goes in that lug, picks it up, spins it, lines it up to where it should be so that we could put first, second, and third color on. So um, before I go on, we also have the Beehive Carafe in the 16 ounce. So they have different sizes too. So this is one that we did before. It's kind of icky and dirty. I couldn't find a clean one. Somebody's texting me. And it has two colors, the yellow and the black. So now the stuff that we're getting from that company that closed down, you know, for the customers, some of them are gonna come with like the first color on and then we have to put the second color. That's gonna be so hard for us. So pray for us, okay? The ones that came today, hallelujah, only has, it's blank. So we, we start from scratch and each of them are going to have three colors and it's 3,000 pieces per product and it's two different products. So we have like 18,000 passes to do. Did you fix the problem, babe? Mm -hmm. Did you fix the problem? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I thought it's a gunshot for car corporate. Uh-huh. Until the guys are too different. I hope you can buy a home and charge me for. Uh-huh. But what are, what are they charging you for though? See, if it, if it, um, Sign up fee. Sign up fee? Like if you live in Dallas? Renewer, yeah. So does she give you the number to corporate? Mm -hmm. So you have to call now? Mm -hmm. Oh, I hate these kind of Monday mornings. <laughs> I really do hate these kind of Monday mornings. You're going to be on this phone forever. You might as well just put it on speaker, walk away, get something done. Oh, God. So the films came, and I'm just going over them. This is what they look like. Like overhead transparency. So I have to know like what colors this is going to be versus this one. This is just the logo versus the other one with the company versus the other one with the company information. What you doing, Joe? Making something to eat. Making something to eat? What you making? Tortilla. That doesn't look like tortilla. It looks like onions. Huh? Oh man, I got a sexy husband. He cooking. <laughs> Let me show you what I made I gotta, today. Yeah, I have to cook. My wife don't want to cook for me. <laughs> Look, I started this and had Jada finish it. Hey, hey when you're hungry, well, they gotta do what they gotta do. You still a real over there? Jada made baked beans for me today, and I ate a bowl of that, and I'm in heaven. 
So let's see what Joe's doing. We're sauteing some onions. What, you're going to make refried beans or something? Huh? Yeah. You're just going to toss it in there? Yeah. This is what somebody told you to do? Who tell her this? Your aunt? This is the aunt that never knew how to cook till she found my channel, right? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that what your mother said? <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to stir it now. <laughs> she didn't know how to cook till she found Don't Barbara's channel. <laughs> I, can't, I can say it on the vlog. They don't watch the vlog. <laughs> And so I made some red kidney beans too in the slow cooker. I, I felt like beans today. What's wrong with me? Beans. And then <laughs> you guys didn't hear Joe say that, right? And then Joe's making some homemade flour tortillas that he got from the Bear Pantry Show recipe. That's my own recipe. That's my recipe. I saw you measuring from my book just now. I don't want to give you the glory. <laughs> like your people and my people <laughs> only a few of them will come back and go girl I learned it from you and I had to learn it someplace else too didn't I and I always give the person the credit who taught me you are me a lot of the things I did learn from you babe for real though okay so Sandra Sandra is my sweet friend at all my channels and she says she was saying that Shamar Moore is her crush right okay. so I told her that I am all my crush all my crushes are old white men. I don't know why. Because I'm married to a beautiful black man, but my crushes are old white men. <laughs> like, um, who, are, who are my crushes, babe? Who's my number one crush? I don't know. No, from the time you met me, who was my number one crush? John Schneider. Oh my lord, John Schneider, though. He, um, the people don't know, but I spoke to him on um, YouTube. And he was so kind. He was so kind. And then now, you know, my new baby daddy is James Spader. But you know what I love about him, right? His voice. And then I love Tom Selleck. Why? Because I love his mustache. <laughs> sometimes, Joe, sometimes I just have to love one thing about the person and that's my, my crush. Okay, so what I'm leading to, of course, is who is your crush? Sandra wants to know. My crush? All time though, because you've had many crushes throughout the years, but who's your all time? The one that stays with me. The one that stays with like oh John Schneider is like he got my heart. Oh. <laughs> Dolly. Dolly Parton is my girl. <laughs> okay, look at the camera and say it. Dolly Parton is my girl. <laughs> Are you shocked, Sandra? Wait, let me back up, Joe. I gotta come a little further. Are you shocked, Sandra? That Dolly is Joe's girl. Now tell us what you love about Dolly, Joe. Huh? Tell us what you love about Dolly. Yeah, she's a nice spirit person. She didn't do that. I can't hear you. You're talking too soft. You you're going into your little she sexy got, voice. She got a sweet spirit about her. She does though. Yeah, I think if we met her, she'd be as cool as Sherry Shepherd. Yep. Down to earth. Right? Yep. Cool. So you can have Dolly, because I love Dolly too. So you can have her. <laughs> let me show you some work stuff guys so we're printing the bottles now this is the first color of the first product and the ink is black everybody has a job to do so joe is opening the boxes to hand to joshua and joshua takes the blank bottles and feed them onto the machine joe also handles the print station and i stay in the back part here wearing goggles to protect my eyes because this light will burn my eyeballs now I had to come give Joshua a box because Joe was running out of ink. So, um, you know, you kind of have to fill in the gap when, when you need to, right? So I'm peeking through that window to check the bottles. I grab one and I check. And it's very important that we have to check constantly because all too quickly this can happen. Dirt gets in the screen and then it messes up the print and then the customer will be mad. So I got to keep checking, guys. And let me show you. I got to put my box up. These are not heavy, thankfully, but we did some bottles before where the boxes weighed 50 pounds and Joe kind of tore his rotator cuff doing that. So I had to pick up the slack and lift heavy boxes for a year. This happens because the bottles have dents in them and they came like this. These bottles are just kind of flimsy and so the print doesn't come out and we just can't do anything about it. Now here comes the second color. Joe is adding the green, which is a part of the logo and, and the people's information, their website and stuff. And we do have to change the screen out for every color that we're going to put on. So we have to charge for every pass that the bottles go through the machine. Look at me at the end checking like Inspector 12. 
I'm telling you guys, I love being in the bear pantry kitchen because I can't stand this monotonous work. But you got to do what you got to do when you own a family business, right? So look at what Joe does. He dances to take the load off his knees and off his heel. And can you believe this man is going to be 59 years old in October? I mean, he is so crazy. So I'm just standing there watching him and rolling my eyes and checking and checking and checking. So... Now, the boxes go from like one side of the room to the next side of the room. And they have to go back and forth like that because it's three colors that we're putting on. So we don't want to confuse things. And then you end up having a box that you didn't print yet. So we got to put them side to side. Now, here's the third color. The blue is going on. And it's kind of hard to trap these colors. But people don't know this when they're creating their design. I wish that everybody who has a product would come take a tour of a print facility to know how hard it is to do this job. So they can know when they're creating their design not to create all these difficult designs. See, I'm showing you guys. This side's empty now. So I guess all the print is done there. Now we're right on the last box when the machine decided to get all screwy. And so look, see, it moved and it's not trapping the colors anymore. So we got to stop and fix it. And we're so frustrated because we're almost done. We're almost done. No boxes left, see? Oh my goodness. But we'll get there. We'll get there, guys. Just pray for us, okay? It's 7 o'clock in the morning, Thursday morning, April the 14th. And the stalker strikes again. So I'm going to take you guys out with me to the mailbox to show you guys what he brought, okay? Alright guys, you're seeing it through my eyes. I'm just going to block my address. So this is what he brought. Some type of statue of an angel with paper wings. Hey guys, good morning. It's Friday morning, April the 15th. Yeah, so anyways, going into work, we finished packing all those boxes yesterday on the first product, and now we're gonna print the second product today, and hopefully we can get through all the printing if the machine doesn't, you know, go crazy. So, so far it's been going good though. We don't wanna jinx it, right Josh? So you guys saw that yesterday. I'm gonna call it the crazy man. The crazy man brought that stupid fairy angel it looks like he swiped it right off of somebody's dresser or bureau and the the base of it was broken it was rusty crusty and dusty and um I, I mean i think he's slacking off on his damn gifts don't you think i'm gonna put a note in the mailbox saying hey dude you know it's nice that you want to bring all these gifts for the family because i don't know who he's stalking or she's stalking but it would be nice if you brought some hard cold cash Josh, should I say it right? Hard cold or cold hard? Uh, hard cold. Hard, hard cold. cold? I never know when the, how hard to put cold. those words. Hard it's cold. Hard, hard cold cash. And by the way, while you're at it, Jada needs an alternator. So if you could bring an alternator and put it in a mailbox, that'd be awesome too. We buy the light. We buy the light for the car. Uh -huh. Oh, he sell parts? Okay, I think. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. <coughs> so we still don't know who's doing it guys and it's starting to get it's starting to wear thin on us because this guy feels like oh i'm getting away with it so yeah i told jada to be careful i'm still watching that neighbor across the street i don't know that it's him but i'm still watching him so i told jada to make sure she watches her back when she comes and goes and he never ever drives the black crung vic but all of a sudden, today, or suddenly, the right grammar, today the, the black Crown Vic is missing. And that's the one that looks more like a cop car than the silver Crown Vic. Crown Vic. So I think, my thought process, too much criminal minds. I think he's pulling girls over at night pretending to be the cops. What do you guys think? <laughs> oh, I dread today, guys. I dread today. But you know what? At least we're going to be making some money. So, I'll catch you guys at the shop when we're putting on the third collar. It's almost 3 o'clock on Friday evening. just want to show you what the finished product of the other one looks like. So, this big old piece of white block goes down first. Then the blue, then the green. So, right now we're putting the blue on. Because we did like six boxes of just the white to test it and make sure everything would line up. Because we don't want to have to like do it and then find out that the, the next collar didn't line up. So, we're doing the blue now. On the remaining what, 28 cases or 26 cases 
So let me show you what that white looks like. so much for watching liking and subscribing please check out my other channels right here to the right of your screen the cooking channel the product review channel and joe's channel the links are in the description box